All right, here we go. We got uh, one more heat on the unit. Um, this is a Goodman air handler. Uh, it's like a two-ton. Uh, we just decided not to put a, uh, an air conditioning system on it. We use it more for electric heat training here in the shop. But uh, if you look at it, it's real simple. I'm going to stand out the way. If I were to dip down and show you, you can see down here that we just we, we don't have the air condition hooked up to it. So there is no air condition on this unit. Okay. If I were to show you the air handler uh, inside, what you would see is right here we have installed an electric heat uh, kit. It's a 5kW kit uh, right here and uh, we've got all the standard you know factory plugs and everything. So when you take the cover off of this, once you see that there's no line set attached to this unit, you can see the copper coil stubs they, they give you uh, if you were to add an air conditioner to it. So like I said, uh, garage, uh, garage bays that, that might need some heat, they might add in some electric heat uh, elements to a unit and just run heat only, no air conditioning. Uh, and if that's the case, it's, it's easy. So inside this air handler, you're gonna get four wires, um, not a terminal block on a circuit board, but you're gonna get four wires that you're gonna have to wire into the system. So uh, I've got some uh, orange wire nuts off to the side, uh, but nothing's wired yet. It's a heat only system once again, just not a furnace. So what we would do is go ahead and strip these wires that, um, that they give us. Uh, but if you look at what they give you, they give you four wires. We've got our, our 24 hot and our 24 common, the red and blue. And uh, got a fan because my indoor unit was where my heat's at, is where my fan's at. So I've got a, a G circuit basically, and I've got my heat, my W, and that's gonna be controlling my contactor for this heating element. So same setup, just we have to physically make the connection with the wire nut instead of uh, at a terminal block. Uh, if I pan around to the thermostat, all right, I've got a standard uh, heat cool thermostat. If you look at it, it says off heat cool. Um, what we'll do is uh, this is a different model than the one we used on a furnace. It's got your standard uh, scheme on, on the bottom of the terminal block itself. It's a uh, W, Y, G, O, R, common, you know, the whole nine. But on the back of this one, and you have to read your uh, thermostat manual, um, it'll ask you, hey, is this electric or heat pump? Or is it a gas or oil type heat? And you can cycle, you know, with a, uh, a little manual switch right there in between what you have. So on this one, I'm gonna go with the electric option. It's not a heat pump because we don't have any refrigerant circuit connected to it. So um, gotta, gotta know what type of thermostat you need based off of what type of system. So once I've identified the system, just like on the other one, now I can wire it. Don't leave the wires just poking out. Wrap them around, keep it neat. ran I'm gonna stick this through the side wall like I said we keep it real simple we just mount the thermostat directly to the unit so I'm gonna stick this through the side wall and uh, connect the thermostat wires to the actual sub base and then we'll wire the inside All right, you can see we've got our white wire on the W terminal. We've got our green wire on the G terminal, our red wire on the R terminal, and the R and the RC, they're both R's, so they're linked together with the little brass tab here. And then the black wire that I use for common is on the common terminal. All right, now I've got this top plate off uh, just for clarity, but uh, if I did, I might have to run my thermostat wire in the factory, or excuse me, in the field, you'd run it through uh, a knockout on the top but uh, for us it's just easier to do it this way so uh, real simple I've got my hot common my G and my W from the factory and I'm basically going to attach that uh, wire for wire here uh, we don't need a float switch or anything on the heat only unit so there's no safety device to uh, wire in series so I like to wire mine and put just like just a barely a little twist on it uh, my next one is the green wire so match them up kind of end to end 
same thing. Make sure that you get that wire nut on there good. Put, I put just a little twist on it. Uh, same thing for the white wires. Match them up. And then they're blue as a common from the transformer I've got going to my common, which is black in this case. And we wire it up. Okay. So, oh, there we go. So you can see, I mean, it's pretty much uh, it's a match set. And that would be it as far as the wiring on the heat only unit that's electric heat. Uh, if I were to plug this in and turn it on, we can do that. Uh, I will forego the meter checks um, today. All right, so. So we got it on. I'm gonna put my thermostat on. Okay. You can see it powers up. And what I would do now before I even turned it on is, like I said, some of them you'd have to read the manual, but uh, this would be the time now that I've powered my thermostats. Uh, you could even put batteries in it first. Um, put batteries in it so that it, it powers the uh, the thermostat while you have it disconnected from the system but you're going to want to go into the system setup and go through all your setup options to tell the thermostat what type of system it's controlling you can identify it right you can wire it right but if you have the wrong thermostat on it it's and it thinks it's something else if i told it that this was a heat pump it's going to be trying to turn on things differently okay still could be the same components but it's 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 thinking it's different so make sure that you go in and you tell it what type of system is controlling so in this case it would be hey this is a heat only setup and make sure that i would have that uh, switch on the back turned to electric heat so let's assume i've already done that um, and what i would do now is anytime you wire a system up brand new or put a new thermostat on we would actually turn the fan from auto to on Make sure the fan comes on. I heard the click of the relay. There goes the fan now. So I would uh, turn that fan off. This one's got a 65 second delay on that uh, board, I think. Um, so we'll fast forward this. All right, so that will be the sequence for the fan. We would turn it from auto to on. 24 volts will go from the R inside here, down the G, energize the fan relay coil, close the fan relay switch, turn on the fan. When I flip it from auto or from on back to auto, 24 volts drops out. We stop energizing the fan relay coil, open the switch, uh, fan cuts off. So uh, now I would go heat. So I'm gonna turn it from off to heat. Once I turn it uh, to the heat and I turn the, and I turn the temperature up, Basically, the switch in here from R to W is going to close, pass 24 volts to the contactor coil, energize the contactor, and close the switch, and our heat strip should turn on. So, um, this is going to happen pretty quick. Oh, I've already heard the contactor coil uh, energize and close the contactor switch. I can feel my heat on right now, just because I don't have any duct work, and now my blower turns on. So, uh, the heat is working fine. I'll also try to link the description of the uh, sequence of operation for electric heat only down in the uh, in the description box below. So uh, hopefully this helps a little bit. Uh, the next one I'm going to do, even though this is real simple, it's um, a lot of people get caught up on the wiring. So I'm not trying to make you, uh, you know, a better homeowner. I'm trying to, to get these young technicians to pay attention it's it's very visual if you don't look at what you have then you can't possibly know how it works you got to identify your unit that will tell you the wiring that you're going to use uh, the terminals that you're going to use and also how you should program the thermostat and from then you have to understand the sequence so uh, hopefully this helps a little bit um, more to come we're going to do a, we're going to do a heat cool system next with a furnace and an air conditioner uh, it would basically be the same as an electric heat unit with an air conditioner. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll get into that, into that as well. So let me know how you like it.